guys, how you doing? And uh, I've got an absolutely fantastic night tonight. It is so still, clear. It's been such a long time coming, but finally I'm back out again shooting the stars. Now, as you can see, I've got my uh, RASA set up and tonight's target's going to be uh, M8, the Lagoon Nebula and the Triffid Nebula with the um, ASI 294 MC Pro camera and the um, F, uh, F2 um, 8 inch RASA. I can just get the two targets in uh, frame together, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, I've also got a, a slight change with this uh, uh, telescope. Now, usually I use the Celestron um, RASA light pollution filter, but because I shoot uh, mostly under um, dark skies, I wanted to uh, change that. The light pollution filter is a little bit darker, or all light pollution filters are a little bit darker, meaning that they're also gonna be blocking the amount of light coming through, um, hitting your sensor. So what I wanted to do is go for a, uh, a filter that's a little bit clearer, and that way it's gonna not block out as much light, um, and still get a lot of, uh, um, nice data, uh, nice light through. So I've gone from the Beta um, UV IR cut filter, two inch filter, and what I've done is I've just unscrewed the, um, the filter cell for the light pollution uh, filter and just installed the uh, two inch um, Beta UV IR cut filter. So that's what I'm running tonight um, with that. So we're gonna see how we go. Uh, so far just um, from some of the previews I can see on the uh, iPad there, it looks really good and I'm loving it so far. Um, and as you might be able to see to my right, I've also got another mount out tonight and that's the little uh, Celestron AVX. And on that, I'm gonna be shooting the, um, with the Nikon Z7 and the 200 to 500 f 5.6 lens. Now, it's gonna be a little bit tricky with that because I don't have an intervalometer for the, um, uh, the Nikon. I, uh, I don't have my laptop with me, so I can't use Backyard Nikon. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't even know if Backyard Nikon works with the, uh, the Z7. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, so it was kind of a bit of a rush sort of thing. I thought, oh, you know what? I'll get the, um, the AVX out as well. We'll set them both up. Uh, and I'm gonna pretty much, uh, I'm gonna target the, uh, or shoot the, the same target as the Rasa as well, but it's gonna be a little bit more wider probably. Um, deciding whether I go 200 or 500 mil, I'm not too sure there. But I've still got to keep setting that uh, that um, mount up. I've got to manually do it. Um, so this is where the ASI Air really comes in handy and I can't wait because I've ordered the Pro version. I'm just waiting for that to arrive. Okay guys, so we're all set up and we're imaging the Lagoon and Triffid Nebula with the uh, Nikon 200-500 f5.6 lens and the Nikon uh, Z7. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I don't have an intervalometer, so I'm just um, shooting at 30 second exposures. ISO uh, 6400, so quite a high ISO. Um, 30 second exposures, I'm going to be shooting a fair few of them throughout the night. I'm, um, I've also got it on the um, interval timer, so I've just set it to nine, um, nine shots and increase the interval um, right up. So uh, I think on the camera it says about 800 shots, but I'm not going to be taking 800, 800 shots throughout the night. Um, I'm probably only going to be out for uh, a couple more hours anyway. So uh, yeah, that's all going well there. The, uh, the RASA, um, I actually stopped that imaging session because uh, I thought I was able to get a, a comet. Um, it turns out I had a bit of a, a blonde moment and uh, that comet um, isn't, uh, isn't uh, up at, uh, at this time of night. So I'm back on um, uh, the lagoon and uh, I'm changing my exposure just slightly. Um, I'm uh, pushing up to 120 seconds now at uh, the same gain of uh, 200, just to get a little bit more, little bit more detail. So I'll keep that going for a couple more hours, and uh, and yeah, and I'll report back to these guys uh, a bit later. Guys, that's it. 
that's about it for tonight. Um, I am loving these conditions. They're probably some of the best conditions I've shot in in quite a while. It's incredibly still. It is about four degrees. The gloves are on. I'm getting a bit cold, but I've got my favorite jacket on, as you guys probably notice in uh, a lot of my videos. But anyway, the um, little Z7 uh, is performing really good with those 30 second uh, exposures. ISO 6400, um, F5.6 at 500 mil. Uh, I'm really excited to see um, what those images um, look like once they're all stacked. Mind you, I'm getting up to around about the, um, I think it's about the 60, uh, about 60 images taken, um, maybe more. And uh, the RAS is uh, are still going, um, shooting between those 60 seconds and 120 second uh, exposures there. So that's looking really good too. But uh, I wish I could uh, continue shooting tonight. Um, unfortunately, I've got to drive about two hours um, to get back home and then uh, get up uh, early um, in the morning. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I've got to cut tonight a bit short, which does suck um, because, you know, I just love shooting the night sky. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna, uh, pack up the little uh, AVX and Nikon uh, setup and then I'm going to... Uh, pack up this big guy right here so uh yeah let me know what you think of the uh the images if this is the first time you've uh, ever seen one of my videos please uh don't forget to hit that um like and uh, and check out my other videos um if you enjoy all them don't forget to subscribe all right guys well that's it for me tonight so uh yeah until next time thanks.